Hey y'all, welcome to another vlog. Um, I am obviously in the car right now and I am on my way to go get my brows waxed. This will be the first time I've had my eyebrows professionally done uh, in three years maybe. I think it was before COVID the last time I had my brows waxed. So I really wanted to get them done because they get kind of out of control. I have really like thick eyebrows and I don't want to have to worry about them on my vacation. So I've got an appointment at the same place where I go get my laser hair removal. The same lady actually that does my laser is going to be uh, waxing my brows today. So my boyfriend is actually at my apartment right now. He stayed over last night and uh, that's why I started the vlog in the car because I'm still nervous about vlogging in front of him, y'all. I've got to get over it because I want to vlog this trip. But after the brow appointment, then I am going to the grocery store to get groceries because I'm going to cook him a healthy dinner tonight for, for him and for me, actually. I'm going to cook the Asian beef and broccoli that I used to cook all the time, if you guys remember in the early days of my vlog. So it is packed full of meat and vegetables. Lots of vegetables, carrots, uh, red pepper, broccoli, spinach, and uh, I'm gonna eat some of it. I'm gonna eat a little bit of it, and but I'm mostly making it for him. But I am gonna eat some too. <laughs> I actually ate broccoli at dinner last night and it was really good. I wasn't repulsed by it, so that's a good sign. I am still trying to keep my carbs low though because I still got more weight to lose, but um, anyway, that is irrelevant. What matters is that I'm gonna be cooking a healthy dinner for my boyfriend tonight and we're gonna go grocery shopping after I get my brows uh, waxed. Next. I've arrived at the spa. This is Chrysalis Day Spa. This is where I go to get my brows waxed and my laser hair removal. I cannot film in here, but I'll show you guys the before and after. Okay, y'all, my brows are done and you can tell they're a little bit um, red, but she did a good job, cleaned them up, I think. I don't know, I can't tell. They're all red and stuff, but I think she got it a little bit thin over here. Oh man, she did. She got it a little thin on that side, but that's all right, it'll grow back. <laughs> anyway, I won't have to worry about my brows the whole time I'm on a vacation. I didn't even look at them when I was in there. I just got up and was like, thank you. And the lady who does my laser and my brows, she asked me what I did for a living. And I just straight up was like, I'm a YouTuber and I never do that. I never tell people because I'm always afraid they're going to ask me for my channel name. And then they're going to see what a train wreck my life has been. And like, I don't need my laser and my brow lady to know... The, about the Andrew shit. You know what I mean? So, but I told her and she didn't ask for the channel, but she was very interested. She was like, how does that work? How do you get paid? And she had all these questions and I was like, oh my God, change the subject lady. Uh, not, not sure how I'm feeling about how my brows look y'all. I need to go home and, and like mess with them and put some brow gel on. I feel like this one's a little thin on this side and uh, they, they look a little angry. But anyway, um, I am at Walmart going in and we're gonna go shop for these groceries. I'm gonna buy more produce than I have bought in over a year for this recipe. Gotta get some meat and I gotta get a few things for the house while we're here too. I'm looking for a large skillet, y'all, because I only own one small skillet and I need something like bigger than that. Because I remember cooking this dish in my huge skillet before. Maybe something like that or something like this. I think I need at least a 12 inch frying pan. Non-stick is nice too. I think I'm gonna get this 13.25 inch frying pan for like $20. That seems like it will be big enough to put this dish in, y'all. And I'll have a lot of use for that. So, yeah, I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to grab some of these Armor All cleaning wipes so I can clean out the inside of my car and finish vacuuming it now that I have enough quarters. So, I'm going to just grab a little small thing of these so they don't dry out before I use them all. While I was here, I couldn't help checking out the leggings because I need some new leggings really bad. None of mine actually fit me. These are only $5 for ankle length leggings in size medium. So I think I'm gonna grab a couple pairs of these to take on my vacation. They have some cute like spooky ones. These are kind of cute. I don't know, it's a little over the top for my taste. Um, I kind of like these though. Oh, I like these. They have like constellations and skulls and planets. Okay, let's see if they have any in size medium. Yes, they do. All right, I'm gonna grab those too. So now I've got two new pairs of ankle length leggings to take with me. 
All right, I gotta get some dishwasher detergent because I ran out yesterday on my last load of dishes. I like to get Cascade complete if they don't have seventh generation, which they do not have here. So I'm gonna grab some of that. One of my goals is to learn how to make my own dishwasher gel and Swiffer solution for my Swiffer so I don't have to keep buying this stuff and I can make something more natural. But right now I gotta buy these. So I'm gonna get some Swiffer wet jet solution for my Swiffer mop. This is lavender, so I buy everything in lavender scent if I possibly can. Of course I gotta grab some Coke Zero minis. Oh my God, if I can reach those all the way at the top without dropping them. I'm not out yet, but I wanna take those on the trip with me. I also got some bottled water to take on our trip with us. I had to ask an employee to help me get it down off the shelf, so I couldn't film that part, but it's in the cart. And my boyfriend requested that I get some sausage patties so that he could make me breakfast in the morning, so I am definitely getting some. I'm gonna get these Johnsonville Original, I guess. I think they all pretty much have sugar in them, but not enough to really make that much of a difference. I'm gonna grab these. And I'm also getting some bread for my boyfriend for his breakfast tomorrow. He told me not to get any bread, but the bread I have at my house is bad and I am getting that for him because I know he likes it with his breakfast. I'm also out of coffee, but I'm getting kind of tired of my cinnamon coffee, so I think I want to try something else. I'm going to try this mocha flavor, chocolatey and luscious notes. I need ground cinnamon and ginger for my Asian beef and broccoli. So there's ground cinnamon. And then they're out of the ground ginger in the glass. So I guess I'm just gonna have to get the ground ginger right here. McCormick, that should work. Also grabbing some coconut aminos instead of soy sauce to use in the beef and broccoli. They have Bragg's liquid aminos and then they have this coconut secret organic. I really like these coconut secret one, but Bragg's is good too. And I'm gonna pick up a pound of ground beef. I'm just getting the regular kind that comes in this package right here. Um, I think that's all we need to make this dish. So I'm gonna grab one um, yellow sweet onion. I'm gonna try to find kind of a smaller one if I can. They're all huge. All right, well, I guess I have to get a huge one. Maybe I'll get one of these. These look smaller. And I think these are a little bit sweeter too. So yeah, I'm gonna grab one of the, oh, not that one. All right, that one looks pretty good. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab a bag of bro broccoli florets. Oh my God, I cannot talk. That's got a huge broccoli leaf in it. Yeah, I'm gonna get these broccoli florets. And then I still need carrots and red pepper and baby spinach. So I think I'm gonna get the one that comes in this like resealable container some baby spinach to serve the dish on. The smallest thing of carrots I can get is this one pound bag for 98 cents. So I'm gonna grab those. All right, gonna grab uh, one red bell pepper. That one looks pretty good. Grab that one. Wait, it's got a little blemish on it. Maybe I can find a nicer one. Oops, they're all falling all over the place. Okay, that one looks all right, I'm gonna grab that. Well, I was gonna get some of these green onions to put on it as a topper, but they're not the greatest. They're feeling a little floppy, but I guess if I use them today, they might be all right. So I'm gonna grab a bunch. They're not very expensive, they're only 88 cents each. And I also had to come back to the spice aisle because I remembered that I needed sesame seeds. So I'm just gonna get these great value sesame seeds because I'm just using them as a topper um, on top of the stir fry. That is my cart, y'all. Um, you would not think this was my cart if you saw it, would you? Besides the Coke Zero, that might give me away, but nothing else, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go check out and get this stuff home. I had to come back to the produce because I just remembered I'm gonna serve oranges for dessert, so I'm gonna grab a couple oranges too. Find some nice, juicy ones. All right, got all the groceries loaded in the car and now I'm about to take the cart back. And I realized that I forgot to stop at the post office. But I don't think I wanna do that now because I've got meat and stuff in the car and it is super hot. So I think I'm gonna take all this stuff uh, home and maybe I'll come back to the post office here in a little bit. All right guys, I'm back home and I got the groceries put away and now I'm gonna start cooking our dinner. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon, but I wanted to go ahead and do it now because this dish is a huge production. 
I know some of you will remember when I cooked it a long ass time ago. It takes a long time. It takes a lot of work. We gotta chop a lot of fucking vegetables. So let's go. All right, so we're gonna start with the onion. I'm gonna make a half batch of this because it makes a ton of food. The original recipe in It Starts With Food calls for two pounds of ground beef. So I'm using one pound of ground beef and a half of an onion. So I'm gonna, why did I, why did I do this? Why did I not peel the, why did I slice, oh my God. I did not peel the onion before I just cut it in half, all right? I, I know that's stupid, okay? So I'm gonna peel it now and then we're gonna slice up the onion and I'm gonna cook the onion in the ground beef. And I'm kind of thinking that the pan I bought is too damn big. It is really big when I put it on my stove. I'll show you guys in a minute. But I'm gonna slice up these onions, or chop up the onion, not slice them. Chop them. It, not them, it. I'm gonna chop the onion, damn it! Okay, so let's go put this in the skillet. All right, I'm gonna use the small skillet to cook the beef and the onion in. Um, and then I'm gonna cook all the vegetables and stuff in the big skillet that I just bought earlier. And then I'm gonna have to clean this out so I can toast the sesame seeds in it because I'm going all out, y'all. I'm gonna toast the fucking sesame seeds. I gotta use my rice paddle to cook ground beef because it works really well for breaking it up. And I'm getting onion all over the floor. I'm gonna turn the heat on to medium and cook the ground beef with the onion. And I think I also need to add some spices. Let me check the recipe. So I don't have my copy of the book. It starts with food. Um, it's a really, really good book. If you're interested in eating like a whole food diet, it has a lot of great recipes in it. I don't have my copy or I can't find it. I feel like that's not something I would have gotten rid of, but I think I lost it in the move to Arkansas. So I just found like a PDF version online that I'm using to uh, make this recipe. So here is kind of the recipe. I'm gonna try to show you what it looks like on my phone. So I use the master recipe for ground meat and it starts with food. And then I use the ground meat skillet recipe for Asian beef and broccoli. So you might be able to check this book out from your library. I think my local library has a couple copies of it, but um, I wanna buy this book again because it's really good. It has a ton of really good recipes in it. If you're doing low carb or like even it even has some recipes that could be carnivore, keto, like whatever, paleo. So for the ground meat recipe, I've got the onion, the ground beef, and now I need to add salt and pepper and garlic powder. It doesn't really give you a good measurement of how many spices to use, so I'm just gonna use my own intuition. So I'm gonna do, for a pound of ground beef, I'm gonna do about a half teaspoon of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. This is just, I don't know where I'm getting this from, okay? So season it however you like if you decide to make this. And I'm gonna use probably a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm gonna cook that with the beef and the onion. Um, so I am cooking the beef and the onions and I have to be honest, I'm kind of afraid of the amount of onions in this. It's, it seems very carby to me. I'm gonna try to eat some of this, you guys, all right? It's got, it's got a lot of vegetables in it. It's got carrots, it's got onions, which are kind of scary foods for me. But um, you know what? I'm gonna do it because I, I still think this is a healthy dish for most people. All right, so the beef is coming along and while it continues to cook over here, I'm gonna go and chop up the carrots. Okay, so I'm gonna chop up, I'm gonna start with one carrot. So you're supposed to do one cup of vegetables per person. Um, but because I'm doing a half recipe, I think I'm gonna do a half cup of vegetables per person. So I'm thinking maybe one or two carrots. I don't know, I usually just, wing it when it comes to this recipe. I don't really measure the vegetables out. So I think I'm just gonna do two like large carrots and then a whole red bell pepper and like a, some fucking broccoli florets. I don't know y'all. My new knives are super sharp though. Remember whenever I was making this before like two years ago and my knives were all dull and I could barely cut anything. Yeah, these are like super sharp cause I've hardly ever used them. I bought them when I moved here and of course I haven't eaten any vegetables so I just I never use these knives. They're super sharp. And my knife block has a knife sharpener like built into it but I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to sharpen my knives. Somebody tell me in the comments what you're supposed to do. I probably should just look up a video. 
but I'm lazy and I want you to tell me instead. So this is the only burner I've ever used on my stove, is this one right here. I don't even know if the other ones even work. We're gonna find out now because I'm gonna move uh, this pan of beef and onions over to the small burner so I can start cooking the carrots on the other one. And I am gonna use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to cook the carrots in, which is not my cooking fat of choice. I would rather use like lard or bacon fat or even butter but for this application, I think extra virgin olive oil is going to be best. So that's what I'm going to use. I don't have any coconut oil or anything right now. Should have bought coconut oil, y'all. So I'm going to try to turn on this other um, burner and let's hope that it works. And I'm going to let the beef keep cooking over here. And see, I think this pan is too big. I was thinking of making the recipe with two pounds of beef. I think I got like a super big fucking pan. But you know what? We are gonna persevere. And I'm gonna put the carrots in and start cooking those over here. And I'm gonna use a plastic spatula to stir them around with. I have, as I try to cook other foods that are not carnivore foods, I have come to realize that my kitchen is not as well equipped as my old kitchen was. Cause I got rid of a lot of things um, because I just wasn't using them because all I cook is meat. Look how big this pan is. This is comically large. This is ridiculous. Good news is that the other burner is working though. So we can keep cooking our beef over here. While everything's cooking over there, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the red bell pepper, but I need to wash it first. So hold on, let me wash it. Don't pay attention to my dirty dishes. I'm gonna wash dishes after I cook. I was gonna wash them before so the kitchen would be all nice and clean for you, but I thought what the hell is the point in that? I'm just gonna wash after. I'm gonna wash off the red pepper because who knows whose grubby hands have been touching on this in Walmart, you know? Okay, really quick, I'm gonna cook, uh, check on our food over here. So the beef is like almost done. And then I'm gonna drain it. Uh, once all the pink is gone, I'm gonna drain it and then we can add it um, to the vegetables. But let me check on the carrots. They're cooking. They're sizzling. But they're, they're not even close to cooked enough, so leave those there while we chop. Okay, so I'm going to chop up this red bell pepper. I'm going to get the seeds out first. Just pull the top out like that. And then the other one. I'm just going to chop up the whole red bell pepper because it cooks down a lot. I've actually really missed cooking things. Um, when you eat the carnivore diet, it's kind of boring because basically I just throw meat in the air fryer. And I, I have missed like making actual dishes out of different foods. So I want to start cooking things again. And now I have somebody to cook for. So I'm going to be cooking more things. <laughs> I like cooking for people too. I like cooking for other people. I'm very domestic. I like cooking and cleaning and all that fucking bullshit. All right, I've got to go check on the carrots and the ground beef. I'm pretty sure the ground beef is done and needs to be drained at this point, but I'm already so close to finishing the pepper, so I'm gonna finish those really quick. Okay, so the beef is done and I'm gonna strain it through this colander um, just to get out all of the fat. You don't have to do that, I just prefer it. And I'm just gonna leave that there to drain while I finish cooking the vegetables. I've got this bag of broccoli florets and I'm just gonna pour some in here. Like I'm not really gonna measure. I'm just gonna put some in here, some of the smaller florets in with the carrots until I think it looks like enough. I don't know. I'm not, I'm gonna take the leaf out. Not really measuring today. But like I said, the original recipe calls for one cup of vegetables per person that you're serving. This bag has a bunch of leaves in it. I gotta get the broccoli leaves out. All right, I think that is probably enough. So I'm gonna continue to cook the carrots and the broccoli in this gigantic fucking skillet here. And then once the broccoli's almost done, I will add in the red peppers and then we'll add in the meat and the seasonings and everything. So it shouldn't be too much longer. So this actually smells really good to me, just the broccoli and carrots cooking. I don't know why I've been wanting to eat more vegetables lately. 
But also I want to keep my carbs low, so it's like a struggle. It's a struggle within myself. I think I'm ready to add the red peppers though. We're gonna add them in and I might add a little bit more olive oil because I think the veggies have like absorbed all of the olive oil that was in there. There we go. So yeah, I mean, the pan doesn't look so ridiculous now that I have all the vegetables in there. Uh, once the peppers are mostly done, then I'm going to add in the beef and we can add the coconut aminos, cinnamon, and ginger. This smells really good. Yeah, it does. Okay, y'all, how many of y'all remember, I don't know, it was probably a year or two ago when I was vlogging and I was doing a lot of cooking out of this cookbook, out of the It Starts With Food cookbook, and I was making, I think I was making Mexican chicken and I dropped my vlogging camera into a bowl of water in the sink and destroyed it like a week after I bought it. And then after that I burnt the garlic and it was it was it was like the worst day of my life that year. Man, if only I could go back to that being the fucking worst day of my life. Jesus Christ, that seems like a good day. Um, but yeah, that's what it reminded me of when I started cooking this. Like that that specific day for some reason. Probably because of the It Starts With Food cookbook. But tell me if you remember that if, in the comments. If you're one of my OG viewers. But my second vlogging camera that I got to replace that one, I am still using that one right now. And it has been through hell. I have dropped it on the floor so many times. The lens is broken off of it. I used to have a wide angle lens, but that broke off. And then the regular lens broke off and somehow it still works. That thing is, um, it's indestructible unless you drop it in water. And I think we can go ahead and add the meat in and just start cooking all this together now. I also need to toast the sesame seeds that I'm gonna top this with and I'm gonna do it in the smaller skillet and since it already has like some beef fat in there, maybe we won't have to add anything else. So I'm just gonna put some sesame seeds in here and attempt to toast them, y'all. I've never tried to do this before. Um, on a stove top, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna put it on like medium low heat. If it turns out bad, I'll just top it with regular sesame seeds, like it's fine, but toasted are supposed to be better. So the veggies are definitely done, and I'm gonna put the beef and the onions back into the pan with the vegetables. Mix all this up together. Actually, now I'm kind of glad I got the bigger pan because it's gonna make it a lot easier to mix. Then, oh, oh my gosh, I'm throwing it all off the side of the pan. I'm making such a huge mess. So now I'm gonna add in the seasoning. I'm gonna start with the ground cinnamon. I'm gonna put in a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And I'm just gonna mix that in. And I may even need to add more. We'll see how that tastes. And then I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. I love dishes. Uh, that use cinnamon with ground beef. It is so good. There's an, a curry recipe um, that I make that uses uh, ground beef and cinnamon from More for Le the More for Less cookbook. And uh, it's really good. I might make that soon too because I could totally eat that without the rice. And the last thing I'm gonna add in are the coconut aminos, which you could use soy sauce if you don't care about eating soy. I don't eat soy. This to me tastes just like soy sauce, so I like it. And I don't really measure this. Um, it says one teaspoon per person, but I just kind of like pour it in. I just pour it in until I think it's seasoned enough. I don't give a shit. It is salty. Okay, so I just turned the heat down to low now and I'm just gonna let all of this kind of like blend together while I finish the rest of the preparations. The sesame seeds are not really toasting, so I don't know what the fuck's going on over there. I don't know, maybe I don't have the heat high enough or something. We'll leave it there for a minute and I'm gonna get the plates ready with spinach and slice the oranges. I'm gonna use the Corel plates that my mama gave me. I've had these for a long time. Some of you guys will probably recognize these because I think they're more elegant. I would really like to get the whole set of these. I think there's some, there's a website you can go on to find like vintage dishes and like find the pieces that you don't have. I only have the dinner plates of these, but I'd really like to get like the smaller plates and I think they're like serving platters and stuff that match these. I can't remember the name of the, the pattern, but let me know if you know. I think these used to be my grandma's actually. Okay, so to get ready for serving, then you just put a bed of baby spinach leaves down on a plate. And I'm not gonna do very many for mine, but I'm gonna do a few. 
I'm gonna try to eat a few, y'all. And I'm gonna set these to the side because I forgot to chop the scallions. Okay, so I'm just gonna chop these up and these are just for a garnish for a topping on top. So it makes it look prettier. And they taste nice too. I think that my toasted sesame seeds did not toast. So I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe I just didn't cook them long enough. But let me know in the comments because I know some of you guys know how to do this. So let me know in the comments what I did wrong. Because, um, I don't know, they're starting to get a little toasty. Maybe I just need to let them go for a little bit longer. Maybe I should have completely dried out the pan first. I don't know. Let me know what I did wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and plate some of this up. Let's see. I didn't do the oranges. I'll have to do those after. Damn it. Forgot. I wanted to serve it with oranges. I'm trying to get a lot of vegetables in this one because this one is for my boyfriend, not for me. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put regular sesame seeds on top because those are kind of like gross and wet. So we're gonna do this instead. It looks pretty at least, right? And then some of these on top. It's beautiful. Such a pretty dish. Now I added oranges to the plate and look how pretty it looks. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go serve this to him now. Let's see how he likes it. Maybe he'll tell you from behind the camera. He said it looks very fancy. <laughs> I think it looks really pretty too. Okay, so um, I'm gonna make a plate for myself with some vegetables, but not a ton. I'm trying to get more meat on my plate, y'all. I don't wanna eat like a ton of carrots and stuff, but I will eat a couple. How is it? It's really good. Yeah. Ah, okay, so I'm gonna try it now so I can judge if it's good or not. I think the bell pepper needed to cook longer, but overall it's really good. It's really good. You like it? Yeah. He likes it, it's a success. Um, and I'm gonna eat all of these vegetables that you guys see on my plate right here. So yay for me. Even the spinach, even the raw spinach. My body is flooded with nutrients and it doesn't know what to do. <laughs> I even ate a quarter of an orange, believe it or not. But now I'm kind of afraid that I ate too many carbs. But that's okay because later tonight for dinner, I'm just going to have a fucking steak by itself with butter. You were totally in this video. <laughs> I'm going to vlog this. You need to come down here and walk down there and stand there and look at the brook. See the brook? I see the brook. It's a babbling brook. It is a babbling brook. We walk down a trail near the creek where we go and swim and it's absolutely beautiful. We left behind a family of rednecks who are most assuredly going to beat each other any moment now. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> and we uh, walked down the creek trail and found this most beautiful place and I decided I had to vlog it and show it to you. There's a brook there. There's a, like, did somebody dam that up over there? That looks like somebody did that's that. A I mean, this is. Yeah, that is Batman. That's, that looks like somebody did let's it. Check it out. Yeah, let's go see. So here's the little brook that we're going across. I can't walk in here with my leather sandals. What am I gonna do? Walk in here with my leather sandals? I have no choice. No, 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 wait. Well, what am I gonna do? Over there? Yeah, do the, do the thick three foot tall. I don't want to go through the three foot tall snake woods. <laughs> I'm just going to cross here. Okay, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying. Oh my God, it's slippery as hell. I am, I am going to die. I'm going to fall. You got to make the left spot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Your right foot is completely underwater. Oh my God. I made it across and I didn't fall or die. So I just walked across that. I guess fuck my sandals. <laughs> They're, wet. They're wet. Okay, so we made it a little bit further down the trail and I don't think there's anywhere to go from here. Um, this is where I'm standing. This is what's in front of me. We're right here by this dam. Ow! Something just bit me. Something just bit me on the leg. But we might be able to go up this way and around. Okay, so here we are up on the top of this hill looking down at the dam that I'm pretty sure is man-made. I'm pretty sure people have stacked those rocks there. Here's the rest of the creek. It's really flowing today. It rained yesterday. That's probably why. I cannot get down from here. Left foot there. 
on this rotten branch. <laughs> and, then, and then the left foot there down there. My legs are like 12 inches long. <laughs> I made it down the embankment. Okay, branches were broken. Roots were destroyed. But somehow I slid my ass down there. So I came down this somehow. But now I'm down here. And I don't know how I'm going to get back up. Across the river. It's shallow. There's somebody sleeping in a tent over there. There's definitely a tent over there. I'm, I'm, let's go uh, check it out. Let's not go let's near that. Uh, we are going to get see. murdered. I saw a snake. Okay. It slithered from here all the way under those weeds. I was the only one who saw it. But I swear to God there's a fucking snake right here. Just be careful. Be careful. I did. The snake just slithered under there. It might have been a water moccasin. It must have been. It has to be. Has to be. Those are incredibly venomous snakes. We need to get the fuck out of here. We went way past, like... Ow! Fuck! I just got bit by fly. Okay, so we've made it to a little bit of a tamer area of the creek. As long as there aren't any more fucking snakes. Holy shit. I wish I would have been recording whenever I saw that snake. And we're going to walk up the creek here and then up here back to the trail. Oh my gosh, look how clear the water is. And the rock is beautiful. This is why I came back to Arkansas though for this. I love it here. It's wild and magical. So we made it back to the trail from across the other side of the creek without dying. And now we are headed back towards the swimming hole where all of our stuff is. And the people who were arguing, hopefully they have resolved things by now. There's a nest in the tree with a spider web on it. Is that what that is? Caterpillar. Caterpillar, oh yeah, yeah. I don't think that's used anymore. There's an old nest we found by the creek. Still heading back down the trail. We finally got out of there. There were some other people there at the creek that were, I'm pretty sure it was gonna erupt into violence at any moment. So we just went ahead and left and got out of there, got our stuff and left. And uh, we're just stopped at the gas station now. My boyfriend went in to get something. And um, I guess I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I thought this was just gonna be a cooking vlog, but it turned into a creek walk cooking grocery shopping vlog i don't know what the hell i did today y'all i still have a giant pimple on my face so who the fuck knows i don't know but anyway i had a great day i had a really fun day we're probably gonna go back home and like um eat some leftovers and watch movies or something and then um tomorrow is saturday so uh that's my day off but I, who knows i might still vlog the weekend too i don't know it's up in the air but thank you guys so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. And don't forget to join the channel if you want to join me for members only live streams. I will be streaming live from the clothing optional beach on Wednesday. So uh, make sure you join and don't miss that. Click the little join button down below or there's a link in the description box. I love you guys and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.